I was I was quite surprised at how fast we were aging um, and at how fast our demographic transition had taken place, particularly given our lower level of economic development. And the reason for that is demographically, if you look at fertility rates, our death rates and birth rates, we look like a much more advanced nation, socioeconomically. In a sense, we might look even like a, a middle-income country, while our levels of development are still much lower. Um, and it really is uh, a testament to the achievements, I think, in terms of investments and, and the role of various development actors in Nepal, including the government, um, development partners, in terms of the investments that they've made in, in making these changes happen, despite uh, political and social uh, instability over the last 20 or 30 years. Um, I would have to say that uh, potentially, and again, uh, we would need to really do a study uh, to really uh, to find out these associations, but uh, there has been a strong focus on on strengthening family planning programs in Nepal. Mm -hmm. That typically has had this um, this drastic effect on reducing fertility rates. Um, of course, the new um, the new uh, scenario of migration affects uh, these issues as well, and I think there's quite a lot of impetus for us now to do more detailed studies and, and this study really provided the, the, the fundamentals of what the changes uh, that are happening in Nepal are but uh, there are opportunities now to look at it more deeply to understand these uh, underlying causes.